Hey everyone, sorry I have not made a video in um, a day or two because uh, I know some of you are just a bit concerned with what's uh, going on with me and the kids. Um, we are still at the YouTuber's house who offered us a place to stay. We'll be here for a few more days. She's been really nice about letting us stay here. My kids absolutely love her. She's just so freaking sweet. Um, she's cooked us meals and, uh, you know, she's letting us do laundry over there and she just, I'm so thankful. So thankful for YouTube viewers like her who are so willing to basically help a stranger out and, you know, like, let me camp here. She, uh, has let me hook up so I have 15 amp, um, and so I can, like, charge things here in the RV, and it's really nice, and the kids have watched a movie, um, so it, it's really nice, and I'm super, super thankful, uh, for her and this property, and she, she lives in the middle of nowhere, basically, but, um, it is 100% breathtaking at night here because when you don't live in the city, you can go out at night and just see the stars so clearly. It is so beautiful. And plus there's mountains right over here and it's just, it's it's a breathtaking view. It is, it is really just stunning. Um, anyways, uh, for those of you who want to be updated on a more regular basis instead of like a video a day every a couple days or whatever um, I did make a Facebook page for follow the hearts so if you just go under search under your Facebook page and just type in follow the hearts my page should pop up um, and that would also help with my with people trying so hard to be my friend on my personal Facebook page um, I just have gotten overwhelming amount of friend requests and I, I I had accepted a lot of people that I didn't know before um, but some people really have just ruined it and I just I don't know who those people are so I am just gonna go through and delete anyone I don't know in real life or people I don't I have not had um, conversation with in the past and feel comfortable keeping them on my friends list so um, I will update that Facebook page regularly while we're on the road and during the day and such so you guys can see what we're doing and uh, it should be fun I put a couple pictures up and I took the kids to uh, I took the kids to McDonald's today and we don't eat at McDonald's so we we got some uh, Chipotle and went to McDonald's, but there's there's really nothing to do here kid-wise that's, that's fun. There are parks here, but it was too cold, so we just got some Chipotle and went to uh, McDonald's to play because their play place was actually pretty awesome. So we did that, and uh, so check out the Facebook page if you want to be updated more regularly and you just, you like want to be in the know with us and uh, I just I cannot do the whole having people on my personal Facebook page that that start trouble I just I just don't know who those people are so those few people have ruined it for everyone else I'm really sorry about that but really I haven't even posted since Christmas Eve I posted one thing and I, I think it's just a Bible verse uh, since Christmas Eve, but that's it and I don't really plan on posting anything on my personal Facebook page because just I don't I don't know what to post and I'm not one to post things who just randomly that don't mean anything uh, I don't like to waste my time with that kind of stuff So I'm gonna post something that's gonna mean something to me or um, keep people in the know somehow, but so type in follow the hearts on Facebook page on your Facebook page and friend me on there follow or like whatever that is uh, I will be doing backdated videos I'm going to start doing that again uh, just for the reason that I will be in court site and I, I really don't want anyone to know exactly where I am 
Unfortunately, I have gotten some creepy emails lately from guys um, who have just really creeped me out. Um, like, I can be your kid's dad, uh, I can be a great father, and I'll be a great husband to you, and um, I've gotten like three of those, and those three have all said this hid being courtside, and it just, it creeps me out a lot. So I'm going to be backdating my videos, but I'm, I'm not going to tell you when that's going to start, it's just going to happen. Because um, I just, I really don't want anyone to know my exact location. Um, on the whole creepy guy subject, um, randomly I was, I was really thinking today, I was like, I don't know, that the people that I will be parking next to out there are women. Um, and so I don't, I just don't know what it is about having, uh, a guy around, but it certainly makes me feel a bit more secure. And maybe that's just cause I've always had a guy around, but a guy friend randomly uh, got a hold of me today and asked if uh, he can catch a ride out to California when I'm heading out there. So I will be having a guy with me. He's just a friend. He's he's a good friend, and I trust him with my life. I've known him for many years, and uh, I am <laughs> thankful that he will be with me on the trip out there so that he can uh, make it make me a little less approachable for creepy guys. But yeah, uh, let's see. I did, you guys had some super, super great tips about safety and, um, things that I should do just to keep me and the kids protected while we're on the road. Um, really great tips, which I actually am going to be doing a video on that so that other people can know great tips as well. Um, besides the things that I showed you in, in the other video that I had gotten, I got a few more things, which um, I'm not going to say, but I have things in my truck now and I have things, more things in the RV that I feel 100% comfortable with. And if I had to defend myself, then I'd feel totally comfortable in doing that. So, yay! Um, Let's see. I uh, have been. I went to church this Sunday. Jennifer, the the girl here who owns this land, she recommended a church for us to go to, and it was it was great. And I mean, it's like every single time, God just constantly puts puts in my way something that I need to hear. And, uh, there happened to be a guest speaker at this church. And I mean, it was just right on point with my life. <laughs> so it was really good. And I was really thankful to hear that. And I got to stay after church, uh, with the kids a little later after majority of people have left and just talk to people. And it was good. <laughs> it was really good. And then, so since Sunday, um, I have been, I don't know, doing really good, really good emotionally, super, super good, like supernaturally good, um, been happy a lot more and upbeat and positive, um, just about being able to do this on my own, um, which I'm not really on my own, like God is always here with me, but I have the support and the advice and the guidance from you guys who most, some of you are just way more knowledgeable in things that I'm not, and so... Um, I'm really thankful for that, but I'm, I just been feeling really good about that. And so just being, being here and not having to move and drive the truck, um, every night or every two nights, um, has been so, so good for me. And I've been really just reading and praying and journaling a lot more than I, ever have in my life. And so having that has been a little, um, intoxicating, I guess is a good word. You know, it's like one of those things where you just do it and you just want more of it because it makes you feel so good. So, uh, that is what I have been doing and that's why I haven't been, I haven't made it. I didn't make a video last night or anything. Cause I just, I basically fell asleep praying. I don't even know what happened. I just, was praying and I just 
fell asleep, but it was really good. And, uh, having that feeling and feeling so good and it's such a crappy situation only makes me want to run more towards God. So that's what's been happening with me. Uh, for those of you, there were some of you who had recommended me to watch The War Room. I watched The War Room. Um, I freaking bawled like a baby. Uh, like, I honestly cried so horribly, like, I, like, ugly cried. Um, my head, my whole bed was, like, full of tissues, and I was just crying so much. Um, it was a really good movie, so thank you for recommending that. And I know some of you guys have recommended some other movies or books and stuff like that, and I, uh, have them on my list to get to, so I really appreciate that a lot, and, um, I'm really thankful for you guys. Again, I just... I don't know how much I could possibly thank you from the bottom of my heart for being so supportive, writing such encouraging emails, um, loving on me and just, and just really being there for me and just being open to being there for me, you know, um, leaving your phone number for me if I feel the need to call or something. I mean, it's, it's been really, really great. So like I said, you guys are basically family to me and uh, I love you all um, except for the few trolls that I got um, don't necessarily have love for you and don't hate you but find you a little annoying um, anyways that's what's been going on the kids have been doing okay um, courage has been Courage has been acting out a little bit because his dad's not here and he notices that his dad's not here more than Zach does. And so, uh, you know, it's just a phase he's going to go through and that, that will be worked out. So, um, I'm working on that with him, but other than that, us three are doing great. Um, way better than you would typically expect, like two weeks out from, your whole life falling apart. So, and I, and I honestly could not be at this point at all without God and being backed up and supported by so many people. And, uh, so I'm really thankful for that, but that's basically the update. And I will be getting back to, um, doing actual RV videos instead of just vlogging about my life, uh, my, my, incredibly personal life um because there are some tip videos that I really want to do regarding RVing so um I will be getting back to that but also occasionally doing personal life vlogging because I know so many of you are just really curious so that's what's going on thank you guys so much for watching supporting me loving me encouraging me and um being here for me and my boys, it is seriously, is incredibly, um, joyful for me to know that there are so many people out there like you guys. So thank you. I love you guys. Bye.